Prisoners of the Kaiser, well, that really came about because I'd read in a book that at the end of the First World War, 22,000 POWs were unaccounted for, which really shocked me. I thought, well, 22,000? <laughs> know, two divisions of men have simply disappeared. And uh, we got a, a programme off the ground about that with, with Channel 4. They, uh, um, they were very interested in, in, in using the research for a TV programme. And so obviously it was, I thought, well, this is a, this is a great book to utilise the stories we've got. Of course, a TV programme, you've got 50 minutes. A book, you've got as long as you want. So um, I think, I can't remember how many interviewed, uh, at least uh, 15, 20 veterans. And we, we discovered, I think, overall about 22 were still alive at the time. And the very best stories of what it was like to be taken prisoner, to be taken back, to be working behind the lines, or alternatively actually working in Germany, some in salt mines, others uh, at, uh, at better camps in, in, in the west of Germany. And um, it was uh, it's the only, only book of its kind. I mean, it, it, amazingly, it was one of those things where you think, was well, no one else written about the POWs of the Great War? And frankly, there hadn't. There was, there was the occasional book, but not really with the, with the, the memories of the guys themselves. So it was a one-off because, of course, even by the time we'd finished the book, half a dozen of them had died. And the last one died in um, January 2006. And he, he was the last POW. So um, it, was, it had to be written then or not at all. Yeah.